a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So, guys, in our previous session, we have covered what is box plot, and in our today's session, we will be talking about the cat plot. Let's have a look on how this cat plot looks like. So, if you are wondering, it looks like a cat, then no, it does not looks like a cat. But wait, what am I seeing? This is something like strip or uh, scatter plot. This is our bar plot, and this is violin plot. Then, what is cat plot over here? Which one is cat plot? So, the answer to this question is they all three are cat plot. Cat plot over here means categorical plot. That means you can create with the help of cat plot, you can create any kind of plot. If you want to create a count plot, if you want to create a bar plot, a violin plot, box plot. So, any plot you want to create, you can create it with with a function called as kind. So, let's have a look on how categorical plots can be plotted. So, to create a categorical plot, first of all, we will import all the libraries. That is import. Seaborn as SNS. After that, we will be importing our matplotlib. So matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. After this, we will also be importing our pandas over here. So import pandas as pd. Now, next thing that we need to do over here is we need to load a data set. To load a data set, we will be writing df is equals to sns dot load underscore data set. So, which data set we will be working on? Let's work on the tips first and then we will switch to other data sets as well. We have loaded this data set and we can view it as well by writing df dot head. Open close the parentheses and as soon as I run it, I will get the output. In this form, so we have five rows and all the columns of this data set. Now, what do I want to plot? I want to plot a categorical plot. Okay, for that I will be writing sns dot cat plot, and here x is equals to let's say tip, or it could be a gender. For that, it, we will be writing sex, and y is equals to tip. And our data is coming from our data frame, so I'll be writing df data is equal to df. And as soon as we run it, we'll get the output in the format of a scatter plot. That means the default value over here is a scatter plot. And suppose if you want to change it, so this is this is just the de uh, default value. But if you want to change it, in that case, what you would do? In that case, you would write kind is equals to count. Or let's put it as bar. So if I run it, I'll get the output as bar. But bar needs to be written inside the double quotation. And if I run it. I'll get the output in the format of a bar. So you can get the horizontal bars and the vertical bars, both of them. For horizontal bars, what you can do, you can write tip here and sex here. And now, if we run it, we'll get the horizontal bars over here. But remember, just that we need to put kind over here. Similarly, if you want, you can also plot a violin plot by writing not violin, but writing kind. Kind is equals to violin or any plot. So I'll be putting it inside the double quotations, and as soon as we run it, we'll get a violin plot over here. Similarly, you can give the other features as well, other functions like hue is equals to hue will be based on let's say smoker. We'll give the hue based on smoker, and if you want to change the palette over here, for that we will be writing palette is equals to gnbu. If I run it, this is how it looks like. Similarly, if I paste this data over here, and I want to give columns which will be based on, let's say I'll be giving hue first of all. That hue is based on smoker, and our columns over here will be based on diet. So, is it diet or what it is? Let me just check. No, it's not diet. So we have sizes over here, and we have a time over here. So we are not working on the exercise one. We are working on the tips one. So I'll be writing. What was that? It was time, right? And if I run it, so I will be getting two columns over here. Two columns. How I'm getting two columns? Because time over here. That means our columns. There are two bars over here which are based on the column. Column is. Time in time we have two types of time. We have lunch time and we have the dinner time over here. That's why we are getting two columns over here. Similarly, you can provide with the height as well. That height is equals to let's say four and let's reduce it even more to maybe two. And if I run it, so height would be two and it would look like this. So you can give the height as well to your plot. Similarly, if I load any other data set, suppose if I write ds, that is data set is equals to sns dot load and uh, load underscore data set. Here I'll be writing Titanic. Uh, let's get the head as well. So for that we will be writing ds dot head. And as soon as I run it, I'll get the output in this format. Now what do I need? I need to plot. Uh, I need a plot over here where we will be writing sns dot cat plot where x will be equal to let's say uh, six. Our y six should be written inside the double quotation six, and our y would be equal to let's say class. And here we will be giving it inside the double quotation. Our data is coming from df. 
our columns will be based on let's say deck deck over here is which deck uh, a person is on so person is on deck a b c so, so there are many decks over here column will be based on deck then we will be having a function called as column wrap column wrap is equal to that means suppose if i run it right now our deck should be given inside a double quotation so i'll be just giving it inside the double quotations and if i run it right now could not interpret input class so let's take anything else instead of class so why could be let's say fair or p class so once we have got this data set over here let's plot a plot and i'll be writing sns dot cat plot after this i'll be writing x is equals to x will be based on let's say the class and our i don't need a y axis over here i because i'm because i'm creating multiple plots over here so for that i'll be needing columns that column would be based on let's say deck then we have our data is equals to df actually it is ds this time and if i run it so right now what we are seeing is that we are getting seven columns and it is not very easy to uh, see the data over here so in that case what we can do we can write column wrap over here column wrap is equals to let's say i want three or four columns in one line so I, let's say i'll write three if i run it you will now see that there are three columns in one row and similarly if i'll give high is equals to three then i guess it would be much more better so this is how this work and if you want to give hue as well you can provide with the hue as well so we can write hue is will be will be based on let's say and if i run it so here now we have received the data in the format of x axis where x axis is a class and we have third class we have first class second class and third class there are seven decks and we are getting a count plot over here so i hope guys that uh, what is categorical plot is clear to you the default value over here is of scatter plot and then if you want to change its kind you can use bar plot over here or you can use the violin plot box plot any kind of plot you can put over here and if you want to obtain multiple plots over here in one plot in that case you can provide with the column and the column will be based on any of the columns that you have in your data set so in this case if you you can take time you can take day as well so column can be based on anything over here so suppose if i would have given this as day and i would have run it now in that case it would have given me thursday friday saturday and sunday and you can pass also you can also pass that uh, how many columns you want so that can also work over here for that you could have add a column wrap just like how we have done it over here that column wrap that means in one row how many total columns will be there if you want a data that uh, that does not contains a null value in that case inside the data you can write ds ds dot deck that means ds is the name of our data set deck is the name of our column and we are we want the no, not null values over here so in this way we can write it over there also we can provide with the height that if you want to increase or decrease the height then you can write height over here and provide it with any number and you can reduce or increase the height so i hope guys that the categorical plot over here is clear to you in our next session we will be talking about the styling plot so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you